An area high school's efforts to try and stop bullying and teen suicide is drawing from experience from a national tragedy 14 years ago. Fox 11's Kelly Schlick was at Ashwaubenon High School last night and has the story. Pioneer Elementary teacher Brenda Conrad brought her own children to Ashwaubenon High School to learn more about what she considers a serious problem. Absolutely, bullying is like a number one priority right now in our district. Like we take it very seriously um, and it's something that I think all kids deal with in one way or another. Her son Bailey is in eighth grade. The Wisconsin Anti-Bullying Center reports that's one of the most vulnerable years. Bailey says he tries to stand up for himself and others. It's really hard to do, especially since sometimes you can get like threatened and stuff like that. Administrators say they want students to treat each other more kindly. That's where Rachel's challenge comes in. It was started by the family of Rachel Joy Scott. The 17 year old was the first victim killed in the Columbine High School shooting in 1999. Ashwaubenon schools brought in Rachel's uncle to share his niece's story. And out of her life and her story comes these five challenges that I'm going to be sharing tonight um, um, about how to eliminate prejudice out of your life, to simply look for the best in others. Some students at Ashwaubenon High School took it a step further beyond accepting Rachel's challenge. They've also formed a group called Friends of Rachel to help combat bullying at their school. This is more of a proactive, positive approach to addressing some things that come up in teenagers' lives, whether it be, you know, the bullying, the teen suicide, etc. And students told us they're up for the challenge. Kids can make the difference. It's not just all the educators and the parents and all the adults. It's, this is kind of focused around all the kids. More than half of whom say they have at least seen bullying at school. In Ashwaubenon, Kelly Schlecht, Fox 11 News. Rachel's challenge says it has reached more than 2.5 million students nationwide in the last 14 years.